Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in, and thank you so much for joining us here on a Tuesday night on Front Porch News and Chad's Media for a very special edition of Lady Cat Softball. It is senior night, one final game, one final home game, rather, for the seniors to play here at Lady Cat Park. Lady Cat's already clinched a sixth consecutive district title and uh, going up against a Liberty Ilo team who they've already played once this year. Uh, if you've been hanging out with us all year, thank you so much. Welcome back. If this is your first time joining us, I'm Tyler Lennon, and I get the special treat of being joined by Ryan Humphreys tonight. What's going on, buddy? Tyler, what is up, brother? Excuse me, couldn't hear me. Tyler, what's up, man? I'm super excited to be here tonight. I'm super excited my, to have you here, man. Calling my first softball game of my mm -hmm. uh, announcing career. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be fun. This is our first time having you for anything that's not football, I, know, I believe. Yeah. I know. Got to make a habit of that, if we're being honest. <laughs> yes, we do. We do. No, but it's going to be a fun one, though. Obviously, uh, clinch, clinch the district title. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, you know, you want to – you still want to treat this one like it's like it's a big game. Uh, obviously, undefeated in district mm -hmm. uh, would be would be incredible. Uh, and, you know, it could be the last time they ever play at Lady Cat Park. Yeah. And so that's, that's important in itself. Like we said, it is senior night, and I believe we'll be getting the senior night festivities started pretty quickly. So before we do, as always, we want to give a big shout-out and thank you to our friends at Bell Concrete. They're your hometown concrete supplier, and they've been a part of Silver Springs for over 70 years. They're a locally owned, family-oriented small business, and they're proud to support the communities that they service. They have plants located in Sulphur Springs, Greenville, and Mount Pleasant. For the very best quality and customer service in Northeast Texas, give them a call today at 903-885-3126. Thank you so much. But, uh, yeah, we're very excited to get tonight's game rolling again. Undefeated in district play, looking to put that away, another undefeated district championship six in a row run yes six in a row obviously that is no no small feat um you know look looking at the schedule it, it seems like they really really stacked that pre-district mm -hmm. schedule um not not saying that they they knew that they would run through uh the district but uh obviously playing really well right now undefeated uh but but i think the pre i think the pre-district schedule really set them up nicely for for district and and beyond uh, and so definitely definitely excited to see what we can do. Yeah, and like you were mentioning with the pre-district schedule, obviously um, not the toughest district schedule on earth, so getting a tough pre-district. And also I believe in the time that I've been covering the Lady Cats anyway, so for the last three, four, five years, this is probably the most turnover they've had from one team to another. You know, two, three years ago, you have players like Paris Pickett and Addison Cadell, who's doing very well in college, Crimson Bryant, who's doing very well in college. So I think this was kind of the biggest jump probably from one year to another. So it was nice to play tough competition and get ready for district in the postseason. Well, you've had a steady one uh, since when I was even in mm -hmm. high school uh, and, and when that district title uh, streak began. You had Bailey Haggerty for a run. Uh, obviously, the name of the game is pitching in softball. You 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 get a stud on the mound. You've got a really good shot every single night you go out. So mm -hmm. Bailey Haggerty, uh, she had her great years. Crimson Bryant had her great years, and it looks like we found uh, yeah, got another really, one. <laughs> really stud pitcher in uh, in Hannah, Hannah Speed. Speed. Yeah. Uh, and so definitely future is bright. Yes, uh, we will get into their stats and more. But first, we want to make sure y'all get to hear the senior night festivities, and then Ryan and I will be back for the rest of this Bell Concrete pregame show. Naya Yancey. Be louder. And I'm being escorted by my parents, Annika Santori Yancey, and my sister, Journey Peters. I've been playing basketball for six years and softball for 12 years. Okay. Activities I'm involved in is class historian and key club in HKK. My plans after high school is to go to Prairie View a and University to study in finance. Thank you. Naya for us is better known as Big Naya, not the little. <laughs> and one of our favorite memories of Naya will be seeing the close combinations she wears at practice. Thank you, Miss Naya Yancey. <laughs> our next senior is number 16, Ana E. Velasquez. <laughs> My name is 
Ana Velasquez. I'm number 16, and I'm going to be escorted by Al Mariano, Brady Morris, Riella Morris, Edgar Velasquez. I played softball for 10 years and played volleyball from 6th through 9th grade. I'm involved in Key Club, FCCLA, HKK, and after softball, I plan on attending Texas State and majoring in nursing. My most memorable moment is when I caught the third out to send us to the fourth round making Lady Cat softball history. Thank you. A famous quote for Ani E is, if I look good, I play good. <laughs> My favorite memory or our favorite memory of her is when she made the throw to first base against Maybank. It's a throw we will never forget. Thank you for everything, Miss Ani E. Velasquez. Our next senior is number 18, Nicole Higgins. Hi, I'm Nicole Higgins and I'm number 18. I'm being escorted by Lauren Higgins, Sandy Higgins, and Matthew Higgins. I've played softball for 10 years. I plan on going to school to become an ultrasound tech. My most memorable moment was when Coach Carrillo got the bus stuck behind the multi and we were stuck for over an hour. Thank you. One of our favorite memories of Nicole is when she moved in from California. Her first thing she told us was, thank God she escaped. <laughs> thank you for everything, Ms. Nicole Higgins. Final senior is number 20, Reese Reagan. Hi, I'm Reese Reagan, number 20. Escort me tonight are my parents, Holly and Tanner Reagan, and my sisters, Ramsey and Ryan Reagan. I played softball for 14 years and I played volleyball 6th through 10th grade. I'm a part of Key Club, host of Hopkins County Leadership and Hockey and Club. I'm undecided on where I'm attending college, but I plan to pursue a degree in nursing. My most memorable moment is making school history many times with my teammates. Thank you. We hear Reese say this all the time. I own first base. <laughs> One of our favorite memories of Reese is watching her jump to catch the ball that Ana E. Velasquez threw to first base against Maybank. Thank you for everything, Miss Reese Reagan. <laughs> Seniors, we again would like to thank you for everything you've given to our program. You definitely have left it on the field, and remember, it's not just the softball thing, it's, it's life. And you will always, always, always be playing for something more. Thank you. And congratulations to this year's seniors. We are almost ready for senior night. Before we go any further and resume the rest of this Bell Concrete pregame show, we want to hear from some of our friends who make all this possible, and then we will be back to get tonight's game started. Bell Concrete, your hometown concrete supplier, has been a part of Sulphur Springs for over 70 years. We are a locally owned, family-oriented small business. We are proud to support the communities we service. Our plants are located in Sulphur Springs, Greenville, Mount Pleasant, and very soon we will open a plant in Blue Ridge. For the best quality and customer service in Northeast Texas, give us a call today at 903-885-3126. We appreciate your support and go Wildcats.
Welcome to Sable Provisions, where we go above and beyond to create an extraordinary shopping experience for our valued customers. Our store is not your ordinary men's boutique. It's a paradise for the modern gentleman seeking style, relaxation, and enjoyment all in one place. Step inside and discover a carefully curated selection of Texas-made products and unique vintage attire that exudes charm and character. Kick back and relax in our exclusive men's lounge and take advantage of our top-notch grooming services. Our team aims to create a perfect spot for camaraderie and relaxation. So, whether you're looking to elevate your wardrobe or want to indulge in a little pampering, Sable Provisions is the place to be. Passing the competition by leaps and bounds. The team of world-class orthopedics and sports medicine specialists at Christus Mother Francis Hospital Sulphur Springs are experts at caring for bones, joints, and muscles. In addition to treatment, they also provide special programs designed to keep you in optimal shape and improve athletic performance. So whether you're a student athlete or weekend warrior, they'll keep you at the top of your game. Christus Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, taking orthopedic care a step further. We are live here in Silver Springs where the Silver Springs Lady Cats are ready to take on the Liberty Isle Lady Leopards for their senior night. Again, one more time, we want to give congratulations to this year's seniors. We got just a handful of them. If you were here with us a second ago, you got to see all of that. But Reese Reagan, number 20, the first baseman. We've also got Naya Yancey. She is uh, playing second base today for the Lady Cats. After that, we've got Nicole Higgins. I believe she's in left field today for the Lady Cats, yes, batting second. And then behind the plate, as always, you've got the self-proclaimed big motion, Ana E. Velasquez behind the plate doing the catching for the Lady Cats. One final game uh, for these seniors. Ryan, can you kind of put us in the, mind, the, the perspective of that, being a, a senior playing your last game? You know you're making the postseason and everything, but your last home game as a Wildcat or Lady Cat. Oh, it, it, it totally matters. Uh, you know, same situation. I remember my senior night just like it was yesterday. Uh, we were in the playoffs at that point. It was for a district title that night uh, over here at Wildcat Park. Nice. But, yeah, I mean, uh, you, you, you grow up looking to those Friday nights or mm -hmm. Tuesday night or whatever it is for baseball, softball, and, and you just playing in front of your home crowd, that's like that's something that you can't replicate. I mean, you whether you go, go on and play in college, you go on right. and play professionally, there's just something about playing in front of your hometown. 100%. Uh, that just just gives you the butterflies. And so tonight – uh, it's going to be no different. Yeah, you would have been the same exact way. And I, I remember my final home, I, re I remember my senior night knowing that I was going to be playing at the next level. But still, it's your final chance playing in front of your home crowd in that uniform with your friends that you've grown up playing with. It's a really big deal. And my, probably my favorite thing, or one of anyway, my favorite things about Silver Springs and the Wildcat Athletic Department is you hear this all the time. You were that kid that wanted to grow up and be a Wildcat. We heard uh, Anna Williams mention it with the soccer team, like always wanting to be a Lady Cat one day. I think this is one of the few places that you still get that. Oh, there, there's no doubt. I mean, let's just look at the crowd here. You see all these little kids. They're thinking, man, I, I'm going to be, I'm going to put mm -hmm. on that blue and gold one day. It's uh, Sulphur Springs is unique in the sense that we don't have multiple high schools. Uh, mm -hmm. You go to the Frisco's and the Dallas's and the, you know, mom and dads and their kids. They don't all go to the same school, and so. You know, to, to be a Sulphur Springs legacy type deal where my mom and dad played at Sulphur Springs and mm -hmm. now I'm playing at Sulphur Springs, that's something that's really important to me. Uh, and so I, I feel like a lot of people might feel the same way. Especially with this team specifically, we mentioned but six consecutive district titles. Like this is oh, a powerhouse. Uh, you've, you know? got, you've got pressure. And you said there's a lot of turnover. Uh, and so you, you definitely feel the pressure to, hey, mm -hmm. we've got to live up to that. that. That is now the standard. Winning yeah, six in 100%. Row, I would say is, is certainly the standard. Yeah, and what at least <laughs> I guess what would have been like four of those would have been at 5A. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. no doubt. No doubt. Yeah. We uh, Real quick while we've got a second here, we will go over tonight's lineup for the Silver Springs Lady Cats. Obviously, you'll get to hear that uh, here in a second. But leading off, as always, playing short is Emerson Thompson in district. She is batting 409. Uh, she also has a pair of home runs, five doubles. We'll get over some of the um, team leaders in those uh, categories as well. But batting second in left field, Nicole Higgins. Nicole Higgins hit, it, uh, I believe, second on the team in district, 560 batting average, and then a great left fielder as well. Doing the pitching, batting third is Hannah Speed, and she leads this team in just about every category possible. 619, 15 RBIs, and then on the mound, or I guess on the uh, – In the circle. In the circle, rather. <laughs> uh, she has started seven district games. She's 6-0. With a 0 0.42 ERA and then a whip of 0 0.43, she's been ridiculous. And again, leading pretty much every 
offensive and pitching stat uh, in district play for this Lady Cat team. And again, only a freshman. Batting third, hitting cleanup, Baylor Boatman. Baylor Boatman's been very, very good as well, batting 545 in district play. Nice to have her back. Obviously missed a little bit of time in the preseason and everything. Batting fifth, playing first base, Reese Reagan. Uh, always a power threat, hitting exactly 500 with three home runs in district play already. Batting sixth at second base, as we mentioned, one of tonight's seniors, Nia Yancey. Love to see her getting in the lineup bat or, uh, and playing second base as well. DHing and then batting seventh is Abby Goldsmith. Abby had to do a lot of the pitching early in the season, now getting to do more hitting uh, and DH and that sort of thing. And then Batting eighth in right field, a player that I pick to as my prediction for player of the game almost every single game, and I may be doing it again. <laughs> it is KK Montgomery. KK batting 542 in district play with a pair of home runs. And a spoiler, I will be picking her as my prediction for the player of the game. And then again, batting ninth, doing the catch in Ana E. Velasquez. Big night for her, playing her uh, final game here at Lady Cat Park as Lady Cat. And then not getting to hit today, but playing center field, the freshman Allison Frazier. Uh, hey, that she's not in the lineup. I mean, five for nine, a, a five fifty five average in district play doesn't get a ton of opportunities, but completely makes the most of them. Like I said, five for nine with three doubles and a triple. So four of her nine at bats, not four of her five hits, four of her nine at bats result in extra base hits. That's uh, pretty efficient, Tyler. Uh, I do know that this is my first game to call. Uh, that doesn't mean that this is my first game to watch uh, via Chad's media, and I am going to be putting my player of the game prediction on uh, senior Reese Reagan, and I'll also go ahead and put put in the call Ooh, nice. uh, for home run tonight. I like that. Um, my home run pick for the night, that's tough. Okay, I, I already mentioned her once, but uh, let's go ahead and let's do KK Montgomery. So I think uh, the way you we usually play when it's uh, Jeremy and I or Corey and I, obviously you made your prediction already on who you think will hit a home run. You also get one call throughout the game, okay. but okay. they don't have to hit a home run. As long as they get on base, it could be a walk, it could be a hit, you get, you get that call it? back. Okay, all yeah. right. Well, I might be using mine in the first inning. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting it out of the way it early. It is fun. Softball is a lot different than, than high school baseball. Mm -hmm. You can't really put in the call uh, for right. a high school baseball much, game. Much tougher. Uh, I expect to see not one, not two, but three uh, Lady Cat home runs tonight. You could definitely see that. In district play alone, <laughs> I'm looking at three, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve home runs now. in district play. Uh, Hannah Speed and Reese Reagan tied for the team lead at three. Emerson Thompson and KK Montgomery each have two. And then Nicole Higgins and Bradley Blevins, not even in the lineup, uh, has one. Hannah Speed, like we said, not only the ace pitcher of this team, leads the team in batting average with 619. Leads are second in the team in RBIs with 15, tied for the lead in home runs, tied for the lead in triples, tied for the lead in doubles. Uh, that's it. But yeah, that's um, now, literally. You know, Hannah, Hannah is kind of sort of a little my relative. Yes, uh, it's, it's, you had told it's me that. My brother-in-law and, and sister's niece. Nice. So I'm related in there somewhere. Has she's a, a stud. Has a chance of going down she's as a stud. like maybe the greatest lady yeah. cat softball she's, player of all time. Uh, she's a stud. She's all. Off to uh, quite the the start. You like to say you, you teach her everything she needs. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, you know, we we worked on that. We worked on that. <laughs> I love that. It looks like we're almost ready for the uh, announcement of the lineups and the national anthem. So Ryan and I got to step out of the way to make sure y'all get to hear all of that, and then y'all are stuck with us for the rest of the night. Welcome to senior night here at Lady Cat Park. Let's celebrate our seniors tonight as they play their final home district game. May, may they have fun, successful, and wonderful lives after high school. The ball game tonight will, will be against, will, will be the visiting Liberty Ilo Leopards and your home, Sulphur Springs Lady Cats. I'll first be introducing the Liberty Ilo Leopards. Batting first, number one, Mackenzie Corda. Batting second, Number two, Addison Ward. Batting third, number 14, Ja'Kay Ray. Batting fourth, number three, Caitlin Downs. Batting fifth, number seven, Casey Otwell. Batting sixth, number five, Makayra Kendrick. Batting seventh, number nine, Abigail Cockrell. 
Batting eighth, number four, Landry Williams. Batting ninth, number eight, Kyra Lane. The flex player tonight is number six, Lakeland Bowler. And their subs tonight is number zero, Zayrin Banks. Number 10, Chani Clayton. And number 15, Anna Ratcliffe. And now introducing your Sulphur Springs Lady Cats. Batting first, shortstop, number 15, Emerson Thompson. Batting second, senior left fielder, number 18, Nicole Higgins. Batting third, the pitcher, number 14, Hannah Speed. Batting fourth, third base, number seven, Baylor Boatman. Batting fifth, senior, number 20, Reese Reagan, first base. Batting six, senior, second base, number 10, Naya Yancey. Batting seventh, number five, designated player, Abby Goldsmith. Batting eighth, number six, right fielder, KK Montgomery. Batting ninth, senior, the catcher, number 16, Anahi Velazquez. The flex player tonight is number 17, center fielder Allison Frazier. And the subs for Sulphur Springs tonight, number three, Dottie Smith. Number nine, Braley Blevins. Number 11, Tatum Thompson. Number 22, Emily Adamson. And number 34, Claire Thompson. Now fans, we ask, ask for you to rise if you are able and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem. Best of luck to both teams tonight, and all players on the field have fun, and especially we are the seniors. Enjoy this one. Almost ready to get started here at Lady Cat Park. Senior night between the Sulphur Springs Lady Cats and the Liberty Ilo Lady Leopards again. One more time, huge thank you to our friends over at Bell Concrete for bringing you tonight's pregame show, as always. I also want to tell you about our friends over at Sabo Provisions. They go above and beyond to create an extraordinary shopping experience for their valued customer. Their store is not your ordinary men's boutique. It's a paradise for the modern gentleman seeking style, relaxation, and enjoyment all in one place. Do yourself a huge favor and go check them out on the square. Also, Discount Wheel and Tire of Silver Springs offers a full line of Michelin tires. When you're looking for the right tire, the choice is easy. Michelin packs more science into their tires to bring together safety, durability, fuel efficiency, and performance without trade-offs. Match the right tire with the right service today. 
Discount Wheel and Tire, proudly serving our Wildcats and Lady Cats for over 25 years. And then finally, our good friends over at J. Hodge Chevrolet. They have the most awarded vehicles at the most awarded dealership. Their knowledgeable sales staff is ready to help you find the car of your dreams. They're even such big supporters of the Sulphur Springs Lady Cats and Wildcats. They're located on Wildcat Way. Find new roads at J. Hodge Chevrolet. And remember, don't overpay. Go see Jay. So, Ryan, this will be your first time getting to see uh, Hannah Speed in person. Yes. Yes, it will. Again, we got into some of her pitching stats earlier, but um, seven starts. She's 6-0. and She's allowed just one earned run over 23 in the third innings pitched. In those 23 innings, 55 strikeouts, mm -hmm. and that's to just six hits and four walks. I am not a math uh, mathematician. Uh, but that is a pretty incredible yes. average. <laughs> she's uh, she's ridiculous, pretty man. Pretty incredible. This will be the first of, I guess, four senior nights she'll get to pitch in. And a quick swing and a miss for strike one there. And, you know, it seems obviously – I mean, she's pretty overpowering uh, mm -hmm. with her speed, but she's also, I mean, also she's got, got a full stuff. arsenal of, of pitches that she can deploy. Yeah, obviously it's a, a pretty easy comparison to make, and a lot of people do, but it is very Crimson Bryant-esque, who, by the way, killing it at the college level. Has won multiple, uh, like, pitchers of the week, that sort of thing for her conference. So one and one, just two pitches in this game. And that's something you're going to see a lot of from her as well, a lot of first pitch strikes. As a former pitcher yourself, I'm sure you appreciate oh, it's that. Huge. It's huge. Uh, it just makes you – makes it a lot easier on yourself. Uh, and you've also – I mean, now sitting here one, two, uh, Liberty Alu batter is thinking, you know, what is she going to throw at me? Mm -hmm. How's that one off? She's going to try to blow it by me. She's going to throw us an off speed uh, with – you know, one, two count, and it's certainly not, not where you want to be as a batter. Yeah, and some pitches to work with. You can kind of throw out of the zone if you want to, pitch around and try to get them to chase. A lot of her stuff's just like you're saying, just overpowering, though. Right. It doesn't really matter where right. it's put. High and inside, not much you can do with it. Just like that. And a quick out number one here to start the night. Before we see our second batter of the game. I want to tell you about and our friends at Gary's Pest Control. They help homeowners and business owners control bug and pest infestations all throughout East Texas. They immediately assess and address current pest infestations and help you prevent them from happening again in the future. Give them a call today at 966-588-3279. And Tyler, you know, one difference about softball, one difference between softball and baseball. Baseball, you've got a dominant pitcher you're probably only going to see him once mm -hmm. uh, in that district schedule. Softball, you know, Ellie's thinking, gosh, we got to go against that twice. Uh, and, yeah, you know, you might think, true. well, that's that's the fifth, sixth, and seventh time they've seen her uh, in, in the batter's box, but don't know at this level if that Agreed. makes a huge difference. It might not. Um, oh, I'm going to miss away. Two balls, one strike, one out, nobody on, which is incredible. I no longer have to say that. You can just look at your screen. You can see the count. You can see the outs. You can see if runners that's, are on. Uh, that's quite the little score bug. It's getting better. We love it. I'm sure it helps a lot for the viewers. You know, you don't have to constantly be, like, tuned in listening. It's going to do it. That is going to do it. Two very quick outs here for Hannah Speed in the top of the first. Strikeouts yeah, number 56 guy, and 57 of district play. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, be honest with me, Tyler. Like I said, I've watched. I haven't watched every pitch uh, this season like you have. How many balls are getting put in play? Very few. It's got to be pretty it's, few. It's pretty few and far <laughs> between, which I feel like can make it very tough as a defender. Well, it, you certainly get kind of lulled to sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you're at, you're at third base, obviously kind of the hot corner in, in softball. Uh, we've gone, you know, four innings and you've been a ball in play, and then you right. get a rocket down the line. Uh, yeah, imagine being like a, little a left fielder or a right fielder. You've just been out there yeah, hanging ball, out all day. Ball over your head. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you might be on your toes, but then it's finally putting your player. Oh, let try to find this real quick. And this is just out and away, one-on-one. -on -one. Now, I would think with the speed uh, for a, for a right-handed batter, I would think right field's going to get the most action. Yeah, you would think so. You know, you get your lefty slap hitter, left field's going to get the most action. Not going to be early on this, uh, generally speaking. 
No, probably not. Watch out. We gotta make a play on that. <laughs> gotta be that's a, that's over a catchable there. foul ball. <laughs> it was. No one seemed too terribly concerned about it though. <laughs> so Hannah Speed, a strike away from retiring the side in order. One two count, Tyler. Not not gonna have a lot of success tonight uh, for the Leopards in, in one two counts. And we're probably gonna see a good bit of them. Just take strike three. That's gonna do it for the top of the first. We'll be back in the bottom of the order to see if the Lady Cat Bats can get anything rolling. Hey y'all, and welcome to the stadium at Burgerland. Here we pride ourselves on exceptional food with equally exceptional service. Our Burgerland promise is that the tea is sweet, the burgers are greasy, and the large fries are indeed large. Where the food is fresh and we cook right in front of you. Don't take our word for it. Next time you're in the mood for a good old fashioned burger, visit our lively hole in the wall joint at 210 Main Street. Come see how we are creating Burgerland fans one burger at a time. Alliance Bank is a community bank. We believe that the future success of the bank is linked to the future of our communities, and that as our communities grow and prosper, the bank will grow and prosper as well. Our bank employees live and work in the communities we serve, and like everyone else, we want a safe place for our children with good education systems, the best medical services, and job opportunities. This is why you will find Alliance Bank employees volunteering in local service organizations and helping our communities in many ways not directly associated with banking. This has been the Alliance Bank way since 1927. After a 1-2-3 top of the first in which Hannah Speed struck out all three batters, we'll get our first look at the Lady Cat bats. We'll see Emerson Thompson, Nicole Higgins, and Hannah Speed. Before we do that, I want to tell you about our friends at Muddy Jake's. They're your home for delicious food and the best sports entertainment with a lively atmosphere, friendly service, and great prices. Muddy Jake's is the perfect place to watch any game. Be sure to go on Monday nights for trivia night and Thursday nights for Queen of Hearts. They also have a ton of new menu items that I know you'll want to check out. And then Clayton Homes of Sulphur Springs is hiring home building team members. Home building team members starting pay is $23 an hour with opportunities to grow. They provide excellent benefits, including paid time off to support causes that you care about. Join their team and build your career with Clayton today. If you're interested in applying, call 903-439-0242. I think I also have a quick second to tell you about our friends Marcy Gamble and Mike Ashuti over at Amidus Healthcare, both of which have over a decade of experience. Amidus specializes in after-surgery care or after hospitalization or a new diagnosis of chronic illness. They also offer skilled nursing as well as physical, occupational, and speech therapies on top of medical social work and certified nurse aides. As always, it will be the shortstop, Emerson Thompson, to get us started here tonight. Sorry, Ron. Not even a walk-up song, just a mid-at-bat song. <laughs> Tyler, I remember Emerson uh, running around tribal baseball tournaments uh, when she was little bitty. Played with her her older brother, Heston Golightly, uh, for a nice. long, long time. So, known Emerson a while. Just fouls that one back for an 0-2 count. Very good hitter, very quick as well. If she puts it in play, she's probably gonna probably going to get on. Getting hit in 409 in district play with 11 RBIs. She's also drawn eight walks, two bombs, and five doubles. Oh, misses. She had been a shortstop in the past, and then mostly has played second base here this season, but moving back over to shortstop tonight, and very well might be where you see her a majority of the time next season. She's getting a good defensive infielder and quick. The one, two. Staying alive. Brian, I think we heard you talk about this on Down and Out recently, but what would your walk up song be? I know what it was. Oh, would, it, would it still be the same? Um, Yeah, probably. Yeah. It would probably be one. The Stroke by Billy Squire. I'm an 80s guy. It's definitely my favorite genre. Oh, and it's a call strike three. That is a good pitch. They're on the outside part of the zone for a quick out right, number one, three, and that'll bring senior, up tonight's Nicole left fielder. Higgins. Nicole Higgins. Mine would, uh, at one time anyway, I wanted it to be Down and Out by Kid Cudi, which is now kind of like there our little go. theme song. So. There you go. This is also a banger of a walk-up song. Though. One bouncing in there for ball one. 
will say this Lady Cat team has great taste. Anytime we're doing it, they always have good walk-up songs. Six consecutive district titles. Looking to make another deep playoff run. Did she go? Yes. One on one. Nicole Higgins, like we said, Emerson had moved from shortstop to second base. Uh, Nicole's the one who's been playing a lot of shortstop for this team, but in left field tonight. That one misses away, two and one. Nicole's second on the team in batting average, I believe, in district play with an average of 560. Swings through that one, two and two. The Ellie pitcher has uh, got him a little crossed up early. Mm -hmm. uh, she's obviously putting some movement on that. Uh, lots of swing and misses early. Yeah, not something you see a ton of from this Lady Cat team either. Also doing a good job of mixing in and out. No one going to miss low. Full count. See if we can get our first base runner of the game for either team. I guess we've seen nothing but strikeouts so far <laughs> to the first four batters. The 3-2. Sends that one in the air into center field. And just a great play by the center fielder there to hold on to it. Thought that ball might get down for a little bloop single, but center fielder hey, had a good jump on it. We've got two down. Yeah, she did get a good read on it, good jump, and was able to make the play. And here is the player we talked about in the pregame show, leading the team in just about every category imaginable. Hannah Speed hitting 619 in district play. Three bombs, five doubles, 15 RBI. And you still get three more years of hand speed after this season. Hard hit on the first pitch of the at-bat. Sends it down the left field line. Not only going to be the first hit of the game, but it's going to be the first extra base hit. It's a two-out double for hand speed. Batting next will be the seven of Baylor Boatman. Tyler, she ran so fast uh, the second that her, her elbow pad I flew off. That. Or maybe it was on purpose, I don't know, but didn't get a pinch runner nonetheless. But just it's intimidating. I it mean, is. Fir first pitch, rips it down the line. Yeah, I just, you know, I'm feeling good. I got two strikeouts. Nine, first pitch, bam, right down the line. So even though there's two outs, I've now got, you know, four hole, five. I've got that run uh, of batters coming up for the Lady Cats with a runner in scoring position. Baylor Boatman sends that one up the middle, but it's fielded cleanly. The toss to first is in time, so the Lady Cats will just strand that runner on second base. We'll go in to the uh, top of the second, still in a tie ball game. Hi, I'm Katie Adair with Janet Martin Realty. I'm also the proud mother of two boys and an officer in Mother's Culture Club. I understand the importance of a safe and supportive community for your family. That's why I'm passionate about helping people find their perfect home. When you work with me, you get more than just a realtor. You get a trusted partner who is active in the community and cares about you and your family's future. So if you're looking for a realtor who is passionate about helping you find the perfect home, make sure to give me a call. I look forward to helping you. Welcome to our family-owned hardware store since 1994. Here at Hooten's Hardware, we offer a wide variety of tools, materials, and supplies for all your home, business, and outdoor projects and repairs. With over 40,000 square foot of materials in stock, we're sure to have everything you need for any job. We only carry the highest quality products because your satisfaction is our top priority. Our staff is knowledgeable and experienced and happy to assist you in finding the right materials for your next project. So stop in and experience the Hooten's hardware difference today. And remember, we're more than just nuts and bolts. Ready for the top of the second here in Sulphur Springs, despite the two-out double from Hannah Speed not able to come in and score on that. So we will remain scoreless going into the top of the second. Real quick before this inning gets rolling, I want to tell you about our friends over at Triple Crown Roofing. They are your, your local roofing experts from repairs to complete roofing systems. With competitive prices and free consultation, they're the easy choice when it comes to roofing. Contact Triple Crown Roofing today at 903 689 
0800. Triple Crown Roofing. Roofing done right. By the way, that also uh, extends Hannah Speed's on base streak to 13 games. That one just a bit outside. Good pitch to miss there on the first pitch of the at-bat. And that might be the first at-bat we've seen where she didn't get a first pitch strike so far, I think. one -0. First pitch missed outside this one. Missing inside 2-0. Both teams wearing black here tonight, Ren. <laughs> yeah. I like the black jerseys with the with the white pinstripes, but you also now run into a situation where you have both teams wearing like a dark color at the same time, you know? That one is called a strike on the outside part of the zone, two and one. Also, I feel like baseball is one of the few sports where like, you do for sure wear white at home. You know, in football, usually you wear your color jersey on at home. And then in basketball, we're seeing more and more teams do that as well. Like baseball is kind of one of the few that you still, the home team usually wears white. Oh, yeah, other than other than your, you know, MLB City Connect uniforms, mm -hmm. uh, you're always wearing white at home. I don't know why, but I, I like that. Oh, I like it. I like it. So good at bat here, and that draws the count to full to get this top of the second started. Look for Hannah Speed to attack here, and she does get a swing and miss for strike three. Four batters, four strikeouts for Hannah Speed. Next is a seven, At DMB Loans, they make the loan process easy. Their competitive rates and quick application process make them one of the largest in the industry. With over 30 years in the business, their team of loan experts will work with you to find the loan that fits your needs. They also offer the best furniture and appliances around with great financing and free local delivery. Just visit their showroom or give them a call. DB Loans is your local loan specialist. When you need cash, trust a hometown business. And again, there it swing is. and a miss, strike one. Good pitch. I went too. And Ryan Hannaspeed, a strike away from reaching 60 strikeouts and 24 innings pitched. <laughs> She's ridiculous. That's just shy of three an inning. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the max, Tyler. That's the max. <laughs> and she gets it. Three pitches, three strikes, and two very quick outs here in the top of the second for Hannaspeed. Now, if she got some drop third strikes, then it could get really interesting. Right. She starts striking, you know, three and a half, four <laughs> out an inning. Then things would get really fun. Averaging three and a half or four strikeouts per inning. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, starting with a first pitch strike on a swing and miss. It is definitely a uh, – you got to get your mind right in that batter's box uh, because it's it's coming at you fast. Yep. Another swing and a miss, strike two. Yeah, that's one of those where, like, I always am a big advocate of that, but, like, use your time in that on-deck circle to you figure out your game plan and to figure out up. the <laughs> – Lock in. It just yep. looks – at strike three, so again, three up, three down, all via the strikeout. We're going to the bottom of the second where we will see Reese Reagan, Naya Yancey, and Abby Goldsmith. Whether it's in the clinic, in the water, or in the comforts of your home, East Texas Physical Therapy can provide you with an individualized treatment plan to meet all your rehab needs. Whether it's physical therapy, occupational therapy, or speech therapy, our experienced staff understands the importance of personalized care and will work with you to set and reach your goals. In business, for over 12 years, we're committed to helping you get back to living life to the fullest. Call us today to get started on your journey to healthier living. Your original hometown clinic, East Texas Physical Therapy. Treatment you need, care you deserve. 
you ready to make your dream of owning a new home a reality? Look no further than Clayton Homes of Sulphur Springs. A little over an acre of land complete with rock driveway and a spacious two-car garage on a solid concrete slab. Clayton Homes of Sulphur Springs is offering you the chance to buy this incredible lot and pick out the perfect home. Visit Clayton Homes of Sulphur Springs today and let us help you turn this beautiful lot into your very own sanctuary. Come see me and my team at Clayton Homes of Sulphur Springs and experience the difference. And Reese Reagan getting us started here in the bottom of the second. First pitch swing and sends that into left field and it's gonna be caught for a quick out number one. Okay. No. Batting next is the, is the 10, senior Naya Yancey. And here is one of your seniors here on senior night, number 10, Naya Yancey, batting sixth and playing second base. Just at bat number seven for Nia Yancey here in district play. She takes a called strike one. She does already have a pair of RBI and a pair of runs scored, though. Foul that one back, going to. Coach Carrillo did tell us before the game tonight that the Lady Cats will get a playoff preview game, though. They'll go face Bullard. Some good competition, especially you've seen some, you know, you've been run rolling pretty much all of your district games, so getting a good playoff preview in would probably be good. Yancey sends that one hard into right field, and it does get past the right fielder. Yancey's going to be in there for two. She's going to try for three, and she's going to be in there standing. Lady Cats with their second runner in scoring position tonight, and this time it'll be with a runner on first, or a runner on third, and just one out. Ryan, you got a situation here. Runner on third, one out. <laughs> Anything this side of the field really should drive in the run. Look at that, Tyler. That one misses away. Yancey going to have to stay there on third, though. One hey, Tyler, we have definitely messed up. Uh, if I've, you know, I know we're talking softball, but if we have the ability to draw on the screen uh, a little John Madden style during uh -huh. football season, uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. You are going to have <laughs> gonna have fun <laughs> with that. Found that back one and one. Tyler, do we know who we're going to get in the first round of the playoffs? No, Carrillo told us they were waiting. I think the result of uh, – who did he tell us, Corey? Uh, Brownsboro was one of them, though. Okay. But, yeah, he said it was not they, – they weren't sure yet. One and one to Goldsmith. Goldsmith hitting 304 in district play. Ten RBIs already. Chance to make it at number 11. Swings through that one, though. K.K. Montgomery, who was my prediction for tonight's Way Bible Church player of the game, on deck. Okay, between Brownsboro and Athens, the okay. loser there of Brownsboro go. and Athens is his own face Athens. in the by district round. So if you get Athens, you know, you can maybe see that game in Emory. Yeah, I was thinking um, they played a lot at Reign's last playoff, and uh, we'd be more than happy to go back there. Goldsmith sends it to left, and it is caught. Yancey not going to be able to tag up, though, so it'll stay the runner on third with two away for KK Montgomery. Six of KK Montgomery. I don't know that she would have tagged up on that one, uh, yeah. but you know maybe maybe just kind of hold tight at third. Um, yeah, in that position, I think go ahead, stay on the bag. Yeah, that way I, you can if you want to. There's no harm in, in staying too long uh, in sure. a lot of situations when you know there's less than two outs, even if it's a 800 foot home run. Let's just mm -hmm. let's tag up from third. Yeah, but first that was or second, hit ball. a little different. That was close. And like you said, probably may not have been able to tag regardless though. Montgomery takes ball one, one and oh. Just fouls that one down the first baseline. 
But yeah, I would uh, I'd be more than glad to make the trip to Reigns. I know what had two, three playoff rounds there so last if it's year. Bullard, it could still could still be Reigns. Could be. I'm just trying to think where that could be. Brownsboro. Or Brownsboro. Right. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Either sorry. way, though. That, yeah. That direction, Canton, maybe. Yep. Something like that. Or you could always do a home and home. The one one. Sent hard on the ground at first, but fielded cleanly. So two innings down, Lady Cats with runners in scoring position in each of them, but unable to drive in any of the runs. And we're going to stay scoreless as we go to the top of the third. At Cody Drug, we believe in providing exceptional customer care and convenience. We do this by offering unique and comprehensive services, unlike big chain pharmacies. With our MedSync program, our customers can schedule a day to pick up all their medications at one time. We also offer vaccines and B12 shots to keep you healthy and protected. Take advantage of our fast and reliable delivery service straight to your front door. We're a team that is focused on helping our neighbors and adding value to this community. Make an easy transfer to Cody Drug today. At Cody Drug, we're committed to earning your trust. Hey, can you make custom hats for my business? Mm-hmm. Whoa. What about hats? Yes, sir. Koozies? Yes. Sweatshirts? Mm-hmm. T-shirts? Mm-hmm. Polos? Yes. Oh, wow. Thanks. Trust us here at the Gypsy Willow for all of your custom apparel needs. Do you have a bag? IT problems can make you feel strapped down. Let Essential Business Solutions take care of all your IT needs. Managed IT services, disaster recovery and backup solutions, new hardware, and other IT services as needed. Yes. Set up a consultation today. Almost ready for the top of the third here in Software Springs. So far, Hannah Speed has seen six batters, and she has struck all six of them out. Again, Lady Cats have had opportunities to score in both of the first two innings. Got a, a two-out double and then a one-out triple, but unfortunately still scoreless in this one before we get this inning started. I'm going to give a big shout-out to our friends over at BT Medical. Go visit their store. You can find wheelchairs and hospital beds as well as many other necessary medical equipment. And don't worry, if you can't leave the house, they offer convenient delivery as well as 24-7 on-call services. Keep your business local with BT Medical, right, supplying delivery. equipment Hello, with care. Nine, and whether it's your team maintenance, real. pool, repairs, or equipment installation, where your pools has you covered. They take care of the hard work so you can dive in and have fun. Give them a call because when it comes to your pool, only the best will do. So, again, that's how we've uh, got to the top of the third already in this one. Not a ton of balls uh, being put in play, so fast play uh, thus far. But we are at the seven hole for LE. Uh, we should be coming back to the top of the order uh, for the Lady Cats next time yes. around. Yeah, it'll be uh, nine and then one, two. What do we think, Tyler? Ball in play this top top half of the inning or no? <sighs> no, I think we see. <laughs> I think we see so more Tyler strikeouts. Tyler is putting in the call for nine consecutive strikeouts. It's a wild thing to do put a call any, in do for. Do you have any idea what the consecutive strikeout oh, total for her is? I like do not that, know. That's a good question. What, what the number is? I have a thousand stats. I do not right, have that. Not that though. one. No, that's a that's that's a little next I'll see, gen uh, sat statty. Before the playoffs, we're I'll gonna, see if I can find. We're going to put our people on it. Yeah, we're, we'll have our guys in well, accounting handle that. Yeah, it's Tyler. Oh, so, but unfortunately, Ty I am the Tyler's people. Tyler's the people. <laughs> two balls, two strikes. We'll say first time these two teams face each other, Liberty Allo, if we do see a swing and a miss, strike three. Um, Liberty Allo had one hit and two walks. Okay. Okay. Well, we're ahead of schedule of that. We are. Let's see if I have her strikeout total in that one. Lady Cats also looking to have their sixth consecutive shutout. They've won each of their last five without You're a run. You're going to win a lot of games. Yeah. <laughs> shutouts. It's almost been a calendar month yeah. since they allowed a run. You it was March 26th. Like you said, though, that that's obviously that's positive, and, and you want to you wanna beat everybody every time they line up, and, and the, the goal is to give up zero runs. But mm -hmm. 
you get to playoffs, you finally play a formidable foe, mm-hmm. and a little bit of adversity strikes, and you gotta, you know, you gotta know how to handle that. Yeah, uh, you haven't so, allowed a run in a month, and you're right? Like, oh, and so no. it's like, oh my gosh, we've got a runner on third. What do we do? Right. <laughs> No, I think, that one. think they'll handle it fine, uh, but that is interesting. Uh, haven't given up a run in a month. That's yeah, yeah. That in itself, I wonder what the longest streak for Lady Cats of that would have been. The two one, trying to bunt it, but just foul two and two. And yeah, for Liberty Isle, I wouldn't haven't put anything in play yet. We might start thinking about bunting, especially with a lefty here. If you've got some quickness, got some speed. Well, it beats striking out. I think you you make you make Sulphur Springs, yeah, make a play. Um, and swings for that one. Eight up, eight down, eight strikeouts for Hannah Speed already. We'll see if she can make it nine. But before we do, I want to tell you about Josh Bowman. He's your local and trusted insurance agent with a family of his own. He understands the importance of protecting the ones who matter the most. He also understands that no two families need the same coverage. And that's why he'll work with you to customize plans to fit your specific needs, whether it's home, auto, or life insurance. Josh has you covered. Got to talk to him for a quick second before the game, obviously. Father of Baylor Boatman. Got to see him. Baylor having a great season as well, batting 545 in district play. Just the third best average, third in RBI. Oh, just fell back 0-2. And, and we're a strike away from nine consecutive strikeouts, Ron. Just continues to get ahead in the count. Mm-hmm. Uh, 0-2, it's just, I mean, statistically speaking, that's that's – not where you want to be as a batter, because uh, now you know Hannah can she can miss here, she can she can throw whatever she wants, uh, and that's obviously tough for the batter. Nine up, nine down. Yep, nine up, nine down, all via the strikeout. We'll go to the bottom of the third, where we will see Ani Velasquez, Emerson Thompson, and Nicole Higgins. Hi, I'm Erin Neal, the principal agent and owner of Hamby Insurance. I am passionate about serving the local community and the surrounding areas. My goal is to take the hassle out of buying insurance. I want to educate you on what you're buying and help you make an informed decision. Whether it's personal or commercial insurance, my team and I will be here every step of the way to make sure you are getting the satisfaction you need and the coverage you deserve. My promise to you is that we will never hard sell you insurance, use slick sales techniques, or pressure you into making a decision that you're not comfortable with. Call us today at 972-285-0381 to find the best coverage to fit your need. My commitment is to give you unparalleled service, and remember, Hamby helps. I'm Josh Boatman, your local and trusted insurance agent. With a family of my own, I understand the importance of protecting the ones that matter the most. I understand that no two families need the same covers. That's why I will make sure to customize plans to fit your specific needs from auto, home, farm and ranch, commercial, and especially life insurance. Don't just take it from me, but from one of my clients who has stated, it has been the easiest insurance buying experience I've ever had. Life insurance is one of the most important coverages that you have to protect your family. If you can protect your home and auto, why not yourself for your family? Bottom of the third here in Silver Springs, it's gonna be the senior catcher, Ana E. Velasquez getting us started here in the bottom of the third. Again, Lady Cats have had runners in scoring position in each of the first two innings, just unable to drive any of those runs in yet. Sounds like she might be a bit of a uh, fan favorite. She is for sure a, a fan favorite. loud roar in the crowd for the senior. She did. And like you mentioned it as well in the pregame show, when she was announced the first time, got a right. big round of applause. Tyler, I am uh, predicting runs here for the Lady Cats this inning. Yeah, I'm with you there. I think third time's a charm. That one ends up being a foul. She seemed pretty confident. Yeah, that, that, that could have been interesting. <laughs> She said it better go foul. <laughs> so one and one. That one sent on the ground foul as well. Ron, I will say, I always talk about, um, you know, obviously being someone who played a lot and loves baseball, how much I love broadcasting baseball and softball. But softball is so quick. Dude, we've done two baseball games in a row, and just the cha- the, the difference in pace is incredible. 
Oh, misses now, it in, huh? Two and two. Having said that, uh, we are basing that basing that off of a girl that just struck That's out true. nine <laughs> consecutive batters. So That's it's true. gonna go not, a little quicker. Not something you see every gonna, day. Gonna go a little quicker. <laughs> two and two to Ani. Oh, rocket down the line. Yeah, that was a hard foul ball. And we've seen a good bit of those from her. When she does hit it really hard, it's usually something that she's pulling, whether it be in that instance foul or just something hard into left field. But she's usually at her best when she's seeing the ball well, turning on it. The 2-2 two -two to the senior catcher. That's going to miss low, 3-2. Lead-off walk here would be big uh, with the top of the lineup coming up or a single or just, just get on base here. Yes. Yeah, back to the top of the order. I'm with you. I think we see Lady Cats put together some runs here. And it is going to be a leadoff walk for Ana E. And for the third inning in a row, the Lady Cats will have runners on. We'll see if they're able to make anything out of it this time. I'm going to get the courtesy runner. Back to Emerson Thompson, struck out swinging her first at bat. Only Lady Cat to go down swinging so far, it looks like. Thompson enters tonight's game with an on-base streak of 12 games, looking to make it a 13th consecutive game of getting on base. Found that one off. The old one. I want a called strike. So I want to give a big congratulations to the Silver Springs Wildcat boys golf team uh, who's been at regionals last two days and did very well. Gage Gideon tied for first before losing that in a four playoff in the fourth playoff hole. Nick Burney tied for fourth. Luke White ninth. Tatum Tran tied for 17th. And Noah Newsom tied for 22nd. That one misses away. And so they'll be going to state as, yes. a, as a team. Yes, they will. It's big time. And then it looks like Gage, Nick, and Luke made the all-region team for placing the top ten. Fantastic. So that's crazy. Fantastic. And, again, most of those are, what, sophomores, right? Yeah. It's going to be the dream team before yeah, long. for sure. So that's back-to-back -back state appearances mm -hmm. uh, for the team. One-two sent on the ground is short. Toss a second for one. Thompson too quick so that it will only be one, but it will be a fielder's choice. And now there will be one out with a runner on first for Batting Nicole Higgins. Got a hard Nicole line out Higgins. to center field. Her first at bat. Ready to hit. She swings and misses on the first pitch there. Nicole Higgins leading the team in runs scored with 20 so far in district play. Through nine games. So scoring over twice a game. Hard hit past the shortstop. That one getting to the wall. Thompson is going to try to score here. She's not going to try, Ryan. She is going to score. Lady Cats get on the board first. Thanks to the RBI double from Nicole Higgins. Now, Tyler, that's a rocket. It's it's you know basically tipping off of the shortstop's glove, bounces once and then hits the fence. That's that's some speed behind the ball. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah, you. Uh, yeah, I wish we could see what like exit velo was. Right, she, right. Uh, she hit that one hard. Emerson Thompson's speed as advertised. Uh, she was standing, run scored uh, from first base. And they're just. Are they? Yeah. Just going to intentionally walk Hannah's be there to put runners on first and second with one out. I'll be honest with you. Um, I get it, but 
with four and five coming up. Uh, and Reese Reagan having three home runs herself. Yeah. It does give you the force, but I don't know. In softball where there's not a, an abundance of double plays, I don't I don't know that yeah. I like the intentional walk. I 1,000% you know understand that in baseball. Yeah, baseball. But in softball, yeah, like you're saying, not I, a lot of double not plays. not going to be a double play. I guess you do have outside of – well, so now, yeah. do you I do, do, it do again. you walk again? <laughs> um, I did not like the intentional walk there. Yeah, I think more than you. putting it in a double play situation just forces uh, force at any bag. But now that's not even the case. As the runners with move two up outs, to do I third. walk her? Absolutely. With two outs, I walk her. With one out, mm -hmm. where you know you're going to get. I mean, you're going to get the next two. I don't. I don't know. Baylor Boatman did ground a second in her first at bat. If she does that again, I would think with Nicole Higgins being the runner on third, that probably scores. The infield is kind of in, but I don't know that you could make a – I don't know that you could fill it cleanly and throw it home before getting Nicole Higgins out. So another one of those might score another run. The 2 0. It won't matter. Boatman sends that one hard into the, over the center field wall. It's a three run shot. For Baylor Boatman, like you said. <laughs> I, I mean, again, I get it, but you, you you put an extra runner on with the meat of your lineup coming up, 28 RBIs between the next two batters in district play. Uh, and so that felt inevitable, uh, but nonetheless. Corey, let's see it again. Baylor Boatman. Batting next for Sofer Springs is senior, number 20, Reese Reagan. Just Ooh, launched that one. That ball one. was way gone, Tyler. Just launched that one. That was a no-doubter. You see that American flag blowing out to dead center and the Dairy Museum, and that ball never stood a chance to stay in. It did not. When Reese Reagan said, it's my, my turn now, big, <laughs> big hack in there. <laughs> Reese popped up to left field her first time. That was home run number. Uh, number one? Number one for Baylor. Wow. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Here in district, anyway. Right. Uh, she's a good power hitter, so she may have had some end on district, but. A little three she run had Jimmy to, Jack. That's, that's yeah. fun on senior night. And now a four run lead for the Lady Cats. Love to see Baylor Bowman getting rolling again. Unfortunately, dealt with some injuries in the non districts and didn't get to play uh, not very much at all in the, in the non district. <laughs> It really made the intentional walk feel super silly. Uh -huh. <laughs> Especially as you're fired. sitting here in the middle of saying, I don't really like that. Right. That's why. Because if she hits a home run, at least it's two. Right. Uh, and then, you know, you'd have to hit a second home run for it to be three, but instead we'll just do it all at once. Mm -hmm. So one and two the count to Reese Reagan. Like you had mentioned, three home runs have her own so far in district. And uh, – the way she's swinging, I think, looking to make it four. Every time I've ever seen her play, that's how she swings, though. She she knows she's got power and always looking to make something happen with one swing of the bat. Still just one out in the inning. Nia Yancey on deck, and Abby Goldsmith would be after her if they can keep the inning rolling. The 2-2, two -two, going to miss low. Full count, one out, nobody on for Reese Reagan. Again, it was a pop out to left in her first at bat. And she has the longest hitting streak on the team at the moment. Fouls that one back. Enters tonight's game with an 11 game hitting streak and a 14 game on base streak. It's pretty impressive. You know, district is only 10 games, so that goes to before <laughs> right. district play. Right. Again, we'll do the 3 2. And she seems to be seeing it well. Yeah, I was going to say, man, if she could just connect with one of these, uh, we're liable to see liable to see a big ball. Mm -hmm. I figured, I don't know, that second time around, yeah. you know, it felt like we were close. A couple swing and misses, a couple hard hit balls. But that second time around, I, I thought we would we would begin to connect. I would say you're two for two on the prediction column so far. <laughs> you didn't like the intentional walk, and you said we'd probably see runs in this inning. Both of those coming to fruition Ooh, immediately. One three two, I might put in the call right here. I get what you're saying. 
It's a way of putting in the call without using your call. Right. right. Fouls that I, one back. I sound smart either way. Either way. <laughs> <laughs> if it if it's not a home run, now you sound smart for She's not using top it. Got some loose ends there, Tyler. <laughs> smart man. So still in the three-two count for Reagan after a pair of foul balls here. Oh, Tyler. Goodness gracious. Couldn't have hit that, that one harder. A, they'll never find that ball. No, that's gone. For as long <laughs> as they look, it is gone. Spend the rest of the night looking for yeah, that. that one's You're not going to find way it. Way back there. And again, if she can just wait just a tiny bit, I mean. You can hear the crowd collectively. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> and that was over me and you making that <laughs> yeah. sound. Going to run out of softballs. Well, there's one at the Dairy Museum. <laughs> that one hit off of Barbara Bush. <laughs> We're down to our third and final ball. Yeah, you might have to go buy some or something. Three, two. Dude, at what point are you like, I almost I can't like just throw, walk one, throw one out of the zone. Like, I don't know. <laughs> But at the same time, you're like, no, I've spent all this right. time. I'm not no, just putting her on first. You're right. A little bit of a little bit of a rubber match here. But yeah, Reese is uh, certainly eager to hit one hard here. Oh man, <laughs> Tyler, goodness! Reese said, "I can do this all night." That one didn't quite get out of here, but hard hit. I mean, what is that? Six or seven consecutive? <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, we're we're definitely approaching the. I don't know, 10th or 11th pitch yeah. here. What has to be, or hopefully will be, the longest at bat you'll see tonight. <laughs> yeah. At least one more time, we'll do the 3 2. And after oh, all that, Ryan. <laughs> gosh, that feels impossible to lay off. <laughs> after all that, she draws what's like a 24 pitch. I give, walk. Her, I give her props on that walk right there because she's, you know, making great contact, hitting the ball down the line. I'm, I'm, I'm hungry to hit this one hard. Mm -hmm. uh, but great, great AB there. And now with one out and a runner on first, we'll see Naya Yancey. Naya hit a triple on a hard line drive to right field in her first at bat. And another one of those might bring us our fifth run of the inning. And that's a very deflating feeling for the pitcher. Like I battled for that long just to ultimately allow the walk. Then again, at the same time, after how hard you saw she was hitting, you're like, well, at least it was yeah, just a walk. And honestly, props to her uh, to bounce back after the home run. You know, she didn't let her didn't let it affect her too much. Mm -hmm. just a little foul tip there, one on one. Now oh, Mrs. Lowe, two and one. It's so engraved in me to constantly say the count, the outs, and who's on, but now right, you now, can see it. Now you don't have to. I'm going to start training the audience to where I don't have to do that anymore. Now, low-key, that's my favorite part about calling baseball and softball. It's like, and the 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> just leave that Just up. to make sure you all just, know. Just everyone, everyone look. <laughs> Thank you for that. Okay. I'm going to have too much yeah, fun Yeah, for with sure. That. <laughs> My goodness. I feel bad that I accidentally stole the first one from you. I didn't mean that to. Is, it's like a kid in the candy store. Uh -huh. That's going to be fun. So another full count here for the Lady Cats. Abby Goldsmith on deck. So back-to-back -back walks. Put runners on first and second. With just Abby one out here Goldsmith. in the inning. Before we see uh, Abby Goldsmith, I want to tell you about our friend Aaron Neal, who is the principal agent and owner of Hanby Insurance in Rockwall. Aaron began her career back in 1999 and was born and raised in the Dallas area. If you're in the Rockwall or Dallas area, give her a call at 972-285-0381 to see how she can help you today. Can't tell me nothing. Incredible walk-up song. Runner's going to stay put there.
Can't tell me nothing might just be like the ultimate just like confidence song. I don't think anyone's ever accused Kanye West of a uh, lacking confidence. Wanna know? Runners on first and second one away. That one misses high and out as well. It was a line out to left. Abby's first at bat. It was a good line out, and that was the one where Nia was maybe going to tag up and ultimately didn't, but it was a hard hit ball. And seeing a ton of pitches here this inning. Misses in that same exact spot, 3 0. She's got the high and away figured out, though. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Goldsmith, the DH tonight. And that one does find the zone. Three and one. KK Montgomery on deck, and then it would be back to Ana E. Velasquez, who opened this frame off with a leadoff walk. Goldsmith sends that one into left center. It's down. One run coming in to score. Nia going to hold up on third. It's a one-out double for Abby Goldsmith. Now 3 one, ball in the zone, drives it to opposite Abby, field. That one, that one looked pretty. Montgomery. And here is the sophomore, KK Montgomery, grounded out to first in her first at bat. And Abby Goldsmith extends her on base streak to 12 games. KK going to see if she can extend hers to five as far as her hitting streak goes. So now second and third, one out in a five-run ball game. Yeah, and you, you had made the comment before this inning started, but it felt like this was when the Lady Cats were going to figure it out right, get on the board. Right, That second time around. I don't know. It felt like we had some confident swings mm -hmm. first time through the order. Uh, and so no surprise that they're picking it up now. The 1-0 to Montgomery. And again, like I said, she's coming into tonight with a, a four-game hitting streak, but she's been really good, hitting 542 in uh in district play. Also third on the team in RBI. Second in home runs. Already got two. Fouls that one back. Always been a good hitter, but uh looking really good in right field this season as well. She came up very big as a freshman in the postseason for the Lady Cats last year. She was one of those players that just seemed to get better and better as the year went on. And by the time where they were, you know, in the postseason, deep into the postseason, felt like really one of the more reliable hitters in the Lady Cat lineup. Seeing that carry over this year, the 2-1. Fouled down the first baseline, 2-2. Two two. Thanks for the help on that, buddy. Again, Ana E on deck. She got this inning started with the leadoff walk. Fielded by the first baseman, but it's going to be a tough play, it Tyler. Is. Yep, kind of just in that no man's, no man's land play for the first baseman. Yeah, and I don't even think that's an error. I think that's an infield no, single. No, that is absolutely an infield single. Second baseman wasn't going to make a play on it. Pitcher couldn't get to first to cover fast enough. Just a good old-fashioned in, infield single. And that brings up, as Ryan keeps mentioning, the fan favorite, Ana E. Velasquez. She is who got this inning started. Lead-off walk. Now she'll have a chance with one-out runners on the corners. Six runs for the Lady Cats in this frame. Montgomery's gone a second. She's in there standing. One oh. And again, I mentioned it in her first at bat, but she does hit the ball pretty well. She's usually out in front though. She'll hit it pretty hard down the third baseline foul. Just keep your weight back just you know, a millisecond. Now that's a hard hit ball 
between short and third into left field. Would love to know how many foul balls we've seen in this inning. Get uh, Chad's media stats and info on that one. 1-1, one, one. one away, runners on second and third. Misses low and away, 2-1. I've always thought this was one of the more helpless feelings in, in baseball or softball. When you're up there on the mound, it just it feels like nothing can go your way, really. Ryan, you are a record holder of some sort as a pitcher at Silver Springs, aren't you? I am. I do uh, I do possess the, the most wins. Most wins. Most wow. wins in, in Silver Springs baseball history. Yes. That's a program that's featured names like Colby Suggs. Yep, <laughs> right, right, pitching the majors. Uh, yes, I do hold that record. That's awesome. 2-2 two, two misses again, so Ana E threatening to draw a second walk in this inning. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not the type that's like, oh, you know, I hope somebody comes along and beats it. No, I want it to last forever. <laughs> forever. <laughs> I don't blame you. No, I'm just kidding, but uh, no, pretty cool. Pretty I cool. I miss those days. Like, no, I worked hard for this. And that one hit her. So it's going to load the bases. Next is the Just Emerson one gone Thompson. in this inning, and we'll see Emerson Thompson for a second time. Grounded into a fielder's choice earlier this inning. I want to let everyone know your organization's network and IT problems can come out of nowhere. Let Essential Business Solutions do all the IT work for you. For managed IT services, disaster recovery, and backup solutions, new hardware and other IT services as needed, give them a call at 903-335-7581. Essential Business Solutions. They make technology accessible. Oh, misses inside one of them. Emerson Thompson looking for her first hit of the night here. You're right, though, Tyler. Tough, uh, tough inning for the LE pitcher. I don't think she's pitching bad. I just think, mm -hmm. you know, we're starting to hit the ball. A couple balls, a couple strikes. Uh, Again, 13 consecutive games in which Emerson Thompson has reached base safely, whether it be via the hit or the walk. And in what's now a six-run game, might not get a ton of opportunities after this. Maybe one more at bat. See if she can keep that rolling. 3-0. See if we'll see a bases loaded walk. Figure she's taken all the way, and she is. Watches the strike, three and one. Well, you know a fastball's coming here. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's going to walk home a run with yeah. a breaking ball. But as good of a hitter as Thompson is, might see her uh, really take a hack here. Just fouls that one down the right field line. So after a 3-0 count now, quickly back to full. And I think you're going to see the same thing. I think Thompson wants to hit, if at all possible. I think if it's uh, close, you're going to see her take a good hack at it. But also a good eye, so. The 3-2. She'll foul that one back, keeping the inning alive. Nicole Higgins on deck. She had a hard RBI double to right center field. That was the one that was uh, right over the shortstop. Mm-hmm. The three two. And it is a bases loaded walk. Seventh run of the inning for the Lady Cats. And again, here is one of the seniors for your Lady Cat team, Nicole Higgins. Already has one RBI double in the inning. She's gonna be looking to add to that. And while Liberty Alo takes a mound visit, that gives me an opportunity to tell you about some of our friends like the Gypsy Willow. Do you need a custom t-shirt, hat, or other apparel? The Gypsy Willow loves making your ideas come to life. Send them an email to sales at tjwcustomapparel.com or visit their website, thegypsywillow.com, to learn more and get started. Also, Cody Drug provides a unique and personalized experience that big chain pharmacies just can't match. They also offer vaccines and B12 shots. Be sure to take advantage of their convenient delivery services as well. 
Make the easy transfer to Cody Drug today. And Clayton Homes of Silver Springs is dedicated to helping you find the perfect manufactured or modular home for your family. Whether you're still researching or ready to find your dream home today, their team is committed to answering any questions you may have. Visit ClaytonSilverSprings.com or give them a call at 903-438-0820 to see how they can make your family's dreams come true. Now with the bases loaded and one out. We'll see the senior left fielder, Nicole Higgins. Say left fielder, also plays a lot of shortstop for this team. Happens to be in left field today. Higgins first pitch swing, but swings through that one on one. Higgins came in tonight with a 560 average in district play. She also drove in her 12th run earlier in this inning. Fouls that one down the third baseline, so quickly 0-2 count for the Lady Cat left fielder. Hannah Speed on deck. She had a double down the left field line in the first inning, and then in the same inning, she was uh, intentionally walked earlier. Higgins, the 12th batter of this inning for the Lady Cats, and she sends that one deep into left field. Oh. Left field, they're not even going to keep running that one over Ooh. the scoreboard. And Nicole Higgins and that's a with a grand slam, Ryan. Tyler, when it rains, it pours. On the 12th batter of the inning, it's going to be the 11th run for the Lady Cats this inning. Yeah, that is huge. Grand slam for Nicole Higgins. Her second home run of district play and now entered the night with 11 RBIs in district, now has 16. It's already five RBIs in this inning alone. And it looks like Liberty Ilo going to make a pitching change. Corey, while they make a, a pitching change, why don't we hear from some of our fan, friends who make all this possible? With weary pools, your backyard oasis will always be in pristine condition, leaving you more time to relax and enjoy. We have the knowledge and expertise to keep your pool water crystal clear and perfectly balanced so you can focus on making unforgettable memories with your loved ones. Whether it's routine maintenance, pool repairs, or equipment installations, Weary Pools has you covered. We take care of the hard work so you can simply dive in and have fun. Don't let pool maintenance become a hassle. Contact Weary Pools today and let us handle all your pool service needs. Because when it comes to your pool, only the best will do. My name is Bill Holden, and along with my business partner, Tommy Anderson, we own BT Medical in Sulphur Springs. In our store, you can find lift chairs, hospital beds, and wheelchairs, along with many other necessary medical equipment. We even have a respiratory therapist with a staff willing to help you with your CPAP, so you can get that healthy rest your body needs. If you can't leave the house, we offer convenient delivery and 24-hour on-call services. From all of us at BT Medical, thank you for shopping with us, and please keep your business local at 201 Linda Drive in Sulphur Springs. Remember the name, BT Medical, supplying equipment with care. Eleven to nothing, the Lady Cats lead here in the bottom of the third. It was a zero-zero game coming into this inning, but a huge inning for the Lady Cats. Now they lead eleven to zero after the grand slam from Nicole Higgins before we return to action. We'll tell you about our friends over at East Texas Physical Therapy. They're a provider of physical therapy and rehabilitative services in Sulphur Springs. After a visit to East Texas Physical Therapy, each patient will know what it means to have service beyond excellence, and they hope that you will return to their facility for all your rehab needs. This brings back up Hannah Speed. Again, she had a double down the left field line in her first at bat, and then earlier here in this inning, she was intentionally walked. Now batting for Silver Springs is the 14 of Hannah Speed. <laughs> and Tyler, I did call that there would not be one home run and not two home runs. You almost got back but to back. But three <laughs> mid-sentence would have been pretty cool. You want to put in the call? <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. 
We're running. We may be anyway running out of time to use our calls. Right. It felt like this was, or had the potential anyway, to be a, a low-scoring, quick game, and then 45 minutes later in this inning. Hard foul ball from Speed on the first pitch. Pops that one up. First baseman has room and fields it cleanly in foul territory for the second out. And, Ryan, that had been – they had hit all the way through the lineup without getting out. The first half of this inning was made two batters into the inning. Right. And That's then went correct. ten consecutive batters without recording an out. It's pretty efficient. And now we'll see Baylor Boatman. Baylor Boatman hit a three-run home run earlier in this inning. That one misses high, two and zero. That one set hard, hard up the middle, and uh, can't help but notice. I don't think this pitcher's wearing a mask. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Good observation. That one was smoked back up the middle. Two out single. Definitely make the uh, the hair on your arms stand up. Here's Reese Reagan. She popped up to left her first time and then All right, walked. I am putting in the call here. I like it. So I get to keep it if she just gets on base? Yes. Okay. Get on base of any sort. Well, I'm afraid we're running out of time, and so I, I'm going to use my call here. I don't blame you. Good person to use it on. You know, this is something that uh, Corey and I talk about a lot as Boatman moves up to second on the wild pitch there. But this Lady Cat lineup, there I mean, you could use the call on pretty much any of them at any given point, and you, you would have a good chance. One through nine, they not only can hit, but most of them can hit for power. Three consecutive balls to Reese Reagan. She can keep the inning rolling. It'll be Nia Yancey's who's having quite the senior night. She's got a triple and a walk so far. Ooh. And it is four consecutive balls. And, Ryan, you're going to get your call back. <laughs> yeah. Batting next is the 10 of Nia Yancey. And here is another senior for your Lady Cats, Nia Yancey. Definitely uh, well on her way or putting herself in the conversation for a uh, Way Bible Church player of the game tonight. That's going to miss inside as well, 1-0. Runners advance to second and third. So now first base open again for the DH. Abby Goldsmith, who would be on deck, had an RBI double earlier in this frame. Now misses high as well, 2-0. And I wouldn't be surprised if before too long that uh, strike zone starts widening up a little bit. It's a hard adjustment to make mid-game, obviously, but at some point. I think that hit her. It did. She's going to take her base. So Nyancy's still yet to get out tonight. Bring up Abby Goldsmith already with an RBI double in this inning and a, a great chance to make some noise again. Tyler, we could see a walk-off homer here. You could. <laughs> yeah. I had not thought about that. Oh, misses out 2-0. It is 15 after 3, yeah? 15 after 4. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't like said. I believe. I don't know. It's 10 after 5. Yeah. It is after three run. So, yeah, you could see a walk-off grand slam. We have seen walk-off 
quote unquote walk off right. home runs before. I know earlier in the season, the, in one of the games that we got to broadcast, KK Montgomery did the same thing, hit a home run that led to the uh, run rule. That one bounces in, and Boatman will come in to score. Runners advance to second and third. And fans now seem to be chanting run rule. Three and one. Two away. First base once again open. And Ryan, I'm putting in the call. I say KK Montgomery does it again. I think a walk off grand slam is what I'm saying is about to happen. KK Montgomery had an infield single earlier in this inning. Oh. Big swing on the first pitch of this at bat on one. Yeah, it's a packed crowd in here tonight, Ron. Oh, yeah, very nice crowd for the final home game of the season, final regular season home game. Yes. Could, could have a home game in the playoffs. Could. We've seen them do that before in the past, oh, yeah. do the, the home and home. Curious to see uh, how they approach the postseason. Obviously, for anyone that doesn't know, I guess you can try to do a three-game series, a best of three, or you can try to just go for the one game. Both teams would have to agree to that, though. Two one. That one bounces in as well. And uh, Ryan Onnie is up on deck anyway for what would be a third at bat. This in inning. one inning. That's mm -hmm. – um Probably haven't seen that a lot probably this year. Probably not. Even though this is a team that scores a lot of runs, probably not. And it's going to be ball four. It's going to walk in the run. We are now to the point where a base hit could, could end it. It could. And would need to be a hard hit ball, but. You know what's funny? This is Ana E's third plate appearance this inning, but doesn't have that bat yet. She has walked and been hit <laughs> by a go. pitch. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there it is oh. again. Yep, still no at bats. So another hit by pitch. We're and back that's to Emerson for the third time this inning. Yes, and any walk, hit by pitch, or hit would put this one away. Up next is the 15 of Emerson Thompson. Emerson Thompson struck out swinging once, also grounded into a fielder's choice. So she'll be looking to get on base to keep her very impressive streak going. 12 straight games. Ooh. We have a lot of streaks there. That would have been three hit mm -hmm. batters in a row. A lot of streaks. That one bounces in, too. Appreciate everyone for spending your Tuesday night with us here on Front Porch News and Chaz Media. We'll be back Friday night for the Wildcats senior night game. Senior night tonight for the Lady Cats, and then Friday night will be the baseball team's senior night. Gotten to see a lot of them here recently, and excited to see them again. That is ball four that does walk in the run and that does complete the 15-run rule. Ryan, all of them came in this inning. Y'all don't go anywhere. We have to name Way Bobble Church player of the game and more. But first, unfortunately, we didn't reach a midway point of this game, but we want to hear from who would usually be our halftime sponsor, ANS Air Conditioning. It's your family owned and operated hometown air conditioning business. We have been serving the heating and cooling needs of Hopkins and surrounding counties for over 31 years. We work hard to provide award winning customer service on every call, and our friendly service techs are available 24 hours a day. We offer the industry's highest rated products, servicing all brands. Whether it's new or existing, residential or commercial, ANS Air Conditioning is here to serve you. Call us today at 903 885 8072 and let us help make your home or business comfortable and more efficient. 
Hey there, Sulphur Springs Wildcats. Pastor Joel T. Meyer here from The Way Bible Church, and we are beyond excited to support you in all things this year. Whether it's on the field, in the classroom, or in your personal lives, we are here cheering you on every step of the way. Also, we want to extend an invitation to each and every one of you to join us at The Way Bible Church on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. or 1045 a.m., also on Wednesday nights at 615 p.m. At The Way, we are all about experiencing life change. We have a vibrant community awaiting to welcome you with open arms. Join us at The Way Bible Church, and let's embark on this journey of transformation together. Let's go Wildcats. And again, by a final score of 15 to 0, your Silver Springs Lady Cats complete an undefeated district title. Six consecutive district titles for this Lady Cat team. One more time before we name tonight's Way Bible Church Player of the Game. The the Way Bible Church wants to extend an invitation to everyone to join them on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. or 1045 a.m and on Wednesday nights at 6.15 p.m. At The Way, they're all about experiencing life change. They have a vibrant community awaiting to welcome you with open arms. Join them at The Way Bible Church to embark on a journey of transformation together. Ryan, there are plenty of players who could uh, win tonight's Way Bible Church player of the game. Hannah Speed faced nine batters and struck all nine of them out. But it is senior night, and I think we want to give a huge shout-out to all the deserving seniors on this year's team. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> obviously uh, tonight was a uh, a third inning explosion for the Lady Cats offensively, mm-hmm. uh, defensively. Uh, there was no defense tonight. <laughs> Didn't have a ball put in play. They did not. No. Uh, but perfect game for for Miss Speed. So obviously very impressive. Uh, but big big offensive night for a lot of seniors. Uh, in this one, so this was uh, a lot of fun. Big win heading into playoffs. Absolutely, Ryan. Again, we didn't get to reach a, a halfway point in this one, so we didn't get to have like a halftime or anything. But we want to, as always, give a huge shout out to our friends over at ANS Air Conditioning. Are you having problems finding comfort in your own space? Let ANS find a perfect solution for your heating and cooling needs. They've been providing affordable heating and AC repair for over 31 years. Be sure to give them a call. Now's the perfect time to ask about their spring maintenance check, which includes a system check, free on check, and cleaning coils for just $180 for one unit, $110 for each additional unit. And because we didn't have time, we didn't get to mention all of our friends that we wanted to, but other people who made this possible are friends. Hootens Hardware at Hootens Hardware. They offer a wide variety of tools, materials, and supplies for all your home, business, and outdoor projects and repairs. With over 40,000 square feet of materials in stock, they're sure to have everything you need for any job. They also have you ready to go for spring as they have all their Cub Cadet and Skag mowers in and ready to go. Also stocked up stocked up on steel and echo trimmers and saws. Hootens Hardware, they're more than just nuts and bolts. And as always, we want to give a huge shout-out to our friends over at Elevate Aesthetics. They are the elite med spa for all your anti-aging treatments. They offer also offer Botox and fillers, as well as B12 shots, skinny shots, and more. Uh, another friend of ours that we didn't get to mention made tonight possible, Katie Adair with Janet Martin Realty. When you work with Katie, you get more than just a realtor. You get a trusted partner who is active in the community and cares about you and your family's future. So if you're looking for a realtor who's passionate about finding you and your family the perfect home, be sure to call her at 903-243-2304. Tonight's game is always brought to you by Alliance Bank here at Chad's Media and Front Porch News. We know the love and support that Alliance Bank has for the Sulphur Springs Lady Cats. Stop by and see them on the square or use one of their many convenient drive through services. You can also visit AllianceBank.com for all your finance financial and banking needs also make tonight possible the stadium at Burgerland. go see them over on the square where they pride themselves on exceptional food and equally exceptional service their Burgerland promises that tea is sweet the burgers are greasy and the large fries are indeed large where the food is fresh and they cook right in front of you don't take our word for it next time you're in the mood for a good old-fashioned burger visit their lively hole in the wall joint on the square come see how they are creating Burgerland fans one burger at a time and then finally When you have a sports injury, Christus Orthopedics and Sports Medicine is the team to trust with fellowship-trained sports medicine orthopedic surgeon Dr. Christopher Maltzakos and hand-fellowship-trained orthopedic surgeon Dr. Christian Douthit. Your health is in good hands. To schedule an appointment in Silver Springs, call 903-885-6688. Run, any final thoughts before we get out of here? No, Tyler. uh, Obviously, great game tonight. Big win for the Lady Cats. Really excited to see how far uh, this this journey can Mm -hmm. go. Uh, I I certainly have high hopes. I think a lot of other people have high hopes. Absolutely. Uh, Back-to-back-to-back-to-back-to-back district champ. <laughs> uh, maybe my number was it's right got a there. Ring to it. Uh, but uh, yeah, a lot of lot of high expectations. Uh, practice game or not practice game? Tune up game mm-hmm. early next week, and then 
heading into the playoffs later next week. Yeah, very excited for that. Ryan, thank you so much for helping us out tonight. We always appreciate having you on air. Thank you to everyone who spent your Tuesday night with us here on Front Porch News and Chad's Media. And as always, thank you to every single one of our advertisers for to, for making tonight possible. We will see you back uh, Friday night for Sulphur Springs Wildcat Senior Night on behalf of everyone here at Front Porch News and Chad's Media. Cameraman Caleb T. Meyer, camerawoman Chloe Copel, the producer Corey Hankins, my partner Ryan Humphreys. I'm Tyler Lennon. We'll see you Friday night.